Hi everyone. I decided I need to play. Sometimes life just gets too serious and we can't deal with it seriousness. Well, I can't deal with seriousness anyway. So I play, you know, I have to play. So what I have been doing here is playing with junk mail. Let me see. I had just, oh, here it is. See, this is a little journal that I've been working on. I called it Yikes. I don't know why. Yikes. Talk less, do more. But it's just made out of envelopes and just stuff that I've stuck in there. And I kind of just like just where I like this little size. And it's fun. And um <coughs> excuse me. It's fun. It's just fun. And and I'm just putting things in it that I just kind of find laying around in my desk area here. This one's not done. And so why should I start on another one? I don't know. Don't got the answer to that. <coughs> But I have a couple things that come in the junk mail. This is a junk mail envelope. And this is the junk mail that was in the envelope. So, and then here, let me see. This one, they would like for me, they would be, they would like to give me a credit card, which <laughs> they don't know me too well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut, I'm going to make a little journal. This is what I'm going to do here. I'm just going to make a little journal out of my junk mail. And so I'm going to just trim off the top of this, this envelope, as narrow as I can, and see what kind of junk is in it. Okay, this chunk. Oh, another envelope. Good, 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 good. Thank you, people. And um, and then there's some papers here. And there might be some words on here that I might could use. I like this color blue. That's very nice. I can maybe do something with that blue. Okay, let me see. And so there I've got two envelopes. And um, along with this one already. And then I have this one. Florida Retirement System. Oh, okay. Yeah. And do the same thing. I'm just going to cut that top off. Just a very slim piece of that top off to open it. And then retiree newsletter. Yeah, retiree. Okay, and then there's there's blue on there too. I like that color blue. So I think we'll be using a lot of blue in this. And um okay, management services. Oh, that's like a W2 form. Yeah, okay. I might want to save that. I don't know. Okay, so I have an envelope, an envelope, an envelope, an envelope. That's going to be enough envelopes. Four envelopes, I think, is going to be enough. Okay, so I'm going to I'm going to use these four envelopes just like they are, and um, doesn't really matter which ones on the outside. In fact, I think I'm going to use. This is a little bit heavier, this envelope here. So I think that's what I'm going to use on the outside. Now, um, oh, this is all the information in the event, in the event that I want to actually um, have this credit card. But yeah, no, 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 no. Okay, now see how that paper is folded in thirds? Okay, I'm going to take that paper, and I'm just going to put that right in the middle there. And um, let's see. Maybe I'm going to take just one part of this one, and I'm going to put that right here. Okay, how's that? How's that look? That look good? Okay, now. Where was that spectrum thing? Okay, I don't know. Oh, there it went. 
It's this spectrum thing. I, I might be making this too thick. Maybe not, though. So I'm going to fold that one in half. Then I'm going to fold this one in half. Try and stay in screen, Elizabeth Marie. Today I have energy, I swear. I'm telling you, I don't know how come some days I have no energy. And then it's like I haven't got even energy to open up more than one eyeball. And then the ne next day I have energy. And I can open up both eyeballs at the same time. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. I, I don't know. It, is it because I'm 70 and a half years old? That might be. That might be what the deal is because I'm 70 and a half years old. Okay, I'm be 70, January, February, March, April. Yeah. 70 and a half years old. Okay, so I'm going to. No, where's that one? I wanted this one. I want you on the outside, madam. Okay, put you here. And no, wait a minute. I'm going to envelope. No, this envelope here. I don't know why. I don't know why. I just. Okay, let me put this one here. Yeah, okay, like this way. Okay. So you see this here, all these folded envelopes? That is going to be my journal. So, to begin, to begin with, I'm going to zip it shut. I'm going to zip that little booger shut right now. Right now, I just got to get this whole punch in apparatus. Oh. I've got a few things I want to do, I, I, and then see what I do is I get busy in my um my beanies, you know my my beanies, filling cigar boxes and stuff, and then I say I don't want to do this. This is work, which I need to be doing it. These people's already paid me, but then I need a little break sometimes. I just need to just do something that doesn't take much thought. Okay, let's put that right there. Look at this pretty flower. I'm gonna use this. I'm gonna. I got this hairband. I got it in my hair right now. This. See, it's kind of plain. I put it back in my hair. I am. I decided I am gonna glue flowers and leaves on it. That flower is gonna go on there. And um, okay. Well, how do I get on that? I saw a squirrel. And so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna tie flowers and leaves on it. Glue flowers and leaves on it. But anyhow, I'm. Getting me this here piece of string, Baker's twine, because it's sitting right there. And I use my crochet hook here because I want to pull that through. I use my crochet hook to pull that through. You can put it like on a needle or something. Oopsie daisies, that wasn't supposed to happen, Elizabeth Murray. Okay, and so I'm just going to pull that through that middle hole because I want the tie to be on the outside here. Tie to be on the outside. And then, so I pull it through that middle hole. See, because I punched three holes. Didn't measure nothing, just punched them in the, in the fold line. Oops, there we go. Now, now I'll put my crochet hook up there and pull that string back through to the back. And then pull it. Now I have to go back. To the middle, to the middle, and pull. Whoopsie daisies. I need that much there. Well, about that much there. And then I'm going to pull it back through the middle. There we go. So that's back through the middle. This is a three holer. You can just do two holes, or you can do four holes, or five holes. I guess you can just as many holes as you want. Just tie it shut, you know. Because all you're doing is tying. There's no rules. There is no rules. When I first started making little journals and things, I thought there was rules. And so I tried to, you know, follow the rules and do it all right and correct. But, um, okay, so now, yes, 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 yes. Okay, so here we go now. And now I'm just going to tie this in the back. I'm just going to tighten the knot. 
right in the center. Just tie that in a knot. Tie it in a knot. Elizabeth, that's a simpler thing. Just tie it in a knot. Okay. Sometimes I have to tell myself more than once what to do. Okay, so well, this one's kind of long. I'll cut that one. And then we'll decide what we're going to do with that later. But there I've got my journal. There I have my journal. And so then, see how the pages are? And um, not sure exactly what I'm going to do with them pages, but those are the pages already in there. So there's a journal right there, but it's naked. They ain't nothing, uh, done anything to it. I haven't done anything to it. Got some papers. It's just all junk mail. It's just junk mail. Look at all them pages in there. Okay. That's good. We like that. Okay. So then that's when you start getting all excited. You know, you get all excited and you start deciding you want to, um, you want to play with it. And so if you have punches, that is, you have got, a lot of a lot of gold in you, these here woods and you can start punching whatever shapes you might have and I'm just doing some circles here and getting me some just just punch me some circles it's better than punching somebody's lights out. You know what I mean. Now, I don't know if you've ever punched anybody's lights out. But you don't want to do that. You just do not want to do that. Now, this here, I haven't even punched with this one yet. This one here was just sent to me by Cindy Trifle. She sent me this little bee. I didn't even know they made punches. I thought all they made was washi tape. Because that's all I've ever had from, from, from little bee was washi tape. I didn't know they made anything different. Okay, now let's see. I want to get something. Oh, this is all just white on the back. Oh, my word. Oh, my word. I'm going to just cut. You know, I have found. Ow. Oh, you don't stick your finger in there before you squish it. Holy smack. Did you know what? Boy, does that cut nice. That cuts very nice. Okay, that is sharp. Boy, that is nice. Little B. I've never heard of that brand. I have pinched my finger. That cuts nice. Really nice. I mean, you don't have to even use any stress. Okay, so there I got that. Now, what else do I have here? Yeah, here's nice. I don't know. I guess I should read this stuff. My late husband was a member of the. He worked for the state, so um. So yeah, I get junk mail from them people. But anyhow, maybe it's important. I don't know. <laughs> I don't go read it. I just I ain't gonna read any. That is nice. How that cuts. Man, so I got some things here. Now, I have some other things here that I've cut out of other things there. There's a 50% off coupon for something. And, oh, here's some more little things I have. Oh, my gosh. I sing the praises of this one company, this... um this one place, what is it called? I sing the praises of this digital collage club. Oh my gosh. I have printed so much from that from that site, that website. You have to be a member. Ooh, there's me some more flowers. <gasps> Ooh, that's going on my headband too. I'll keep my glue gun up after. Oh, I forgot I throwed all them flowers in there. Okay, well, now I'm reaching for a piece of, let's see, what do I have here? I've got a box, and within the box, I've got some ancient papers out of a book. Book pages, ancient. Yeah, 
that's a new word, isn't it? We can use that word when we're um, when we're thinking about vintage or antique or old or retro. Ancient is another word. Let's see, I still haven't learned. Now, some people know the difference. They can just look at. They can just look. Open their eyeballs and look at something and know if it's old or ancient or retro or vintage or any of that stuff. They just know it. And I envy those people because I don't know that stuff. I can't tell by just looking. By just looking at it, I can't tell what it is. So, hmm. Oh, what's this? This is some paper. This is not old or anything. It's just been hanging Oh, good. I got some paper here. I don't have much left in this package. There's a piece. Ooh, this is happy paper. I like happy paper. This is happy paper. Oh, look. I'm almost used up all the paper in this new little collection. Ah, I got more here than I need. Oh, good. It's double-sided. Now, see, look at I got all of these little extras up here. But you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to take them out of there, cut them in half, and make flags out of them. So I'll put that back over there in there, in that area. Okay, so now I'm going to, I'm going to, um, I'm going to, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to, let me see, where's my chair ruler? I need a longer arm. I wonder if I can get, um get surgically my arms surgically enlarged oh there's where I put these I wondered where I put these I knew I had some of these and I wanted to try just a minute I gotta try some see this is a mask that I make and I wondered if a chenille stick would go through that mask up here in the top because I already make them to where there's elastic goes through the top and um, look at that. That snail stick goes all the way through there. Now, oh, man, that is cool. Now I can bend it. Now it can be bent. So we can just fold that snail stick out to the outside like this of your face so it won't poke you. But then you can pull it out of there to wash it. This is my own little style, you know, because see, I made it to where the the elastic goes through the top and bottom. That way, if you want to tighten it, you can kind of gather it a little bit. Put that behind your ears, and then you can gather it a little bit, you know, just swish, swish. It. But that's what I was looking for. With some, I knew I had some chenille sticks, pipe cleaners, whatever you call them. Those will work perfect. Look how you can bend that around your nose. Doesn't that look okay? That's not what I'm doing. Elizabeth Marie, would you just stay on? I don't stay on task very well. No, not at all. Not even a little bit. Not at all do I. Okay, well, here's a tear stick. I don't know where the one is I normally use. I'm going to use this one. So I'll use this one. Okay, so I'm going to just tear like this. Isn't that pretty how that tears that's beautiful that's beautiful now I'm gonna tear it and tear this edge I really want my other one oh there's my other one. this is my other one. see somebody comes in my house when I'm sleeping and they move things on purpose just to make me nuts yeah just to make me totally nuts there they are succeeding. Okay, that's better. I like that. I like that tear right there best. Best. That's the one I use the most. Okay, so if I put this here on here. Okay, like this. Okay, I'm gonna tear that then right here. There we go. Now, see those pieces right there that I just tore off? I will use them too. I will use them. 
on something in this book, in this here journal. So this is my envelope. Okay, I got it open at the top. Okay, it's open at the top. And then I'm just going to glue this right on top of there. Now, you don't always need to just glue things on the top of something, you know. You can, if I was so choosing, I could just cover up even the writing. You just when, when you're doing something like this, you just kind of do whatever comes to mind. Whatever comes to mind or whatever you have. Best time to do one of these is when your desk is in a mess and you need to clean it up. So there, I put that little cover on there. But then I want this piece of book page on there so I'm going to do that I'm going to do that I just it could be decoupage on there but I just glue stuff on there I just glue because I can't wait for stuff to dry it's just not in my nature to be able to wait for stuff to dry so see there now I put that on there just a piece of old book page and um now look these look at be safe stay safe this is a um these were in that um that that those were in that um i'm gonna put them on there they were in that same place what i just said what was that digital collage club i sing their praises it costed it i bought a lifetime subscription so i can just print as much as I want, whenever I want from there. And they've got thousands of things to print. You will never have to go buy another. Um, you'll never have to go buy another nothing. Because you can print it all out from that site. But um, and I don't know who runs it. I don't know them. and um, But I... I certainly love it. I paid for the year. Um, my stimulus money. Mine. It was my money. I got my stool. And I bought that. And I bought me a program for my computer. Print artist. Which I had been wanting that too. And so I bought that. With my stimulus money. Thank you George Bush or whoever the president is now. I don't even know. Walter Matthau, somebody. Gosh, I don't even know. But anyway, um, so I'm just go put that right there on the front of my book. On the front of my book. That's it. Does it match? No, it doesn't have to. It's junk journal. And so then, but then I got these too. These were called bookmarks. Now, but see, you can change the size. You don't have to take, you don't have to take the size that comes. Oh, my scissors. Oh, do I want to tear this? Maybe I want to tear it. Let's try. Let's try and see. Imagination is the real and eternal world of which this vegetable universe is, but a faint shadow. That was written by William Blake. Now this one, the name of these, of this particular um, um, vintage phrases, I think it was was what it was called. Finches, vintage quotes. And so, of course, I said, yeah, I want that. And so I printed it. What the heck? And so, what the heck? That's what I say. Just what the heck? And so, let's see. Now, I can just tear these off of here. And um, I can tear. I just, I'm just into this tearing thing with these tear rulers, rather than to just having to go get the cutter and cut it, and then it's crooked or whatever, whatever. I'll just tear it. So there, now I can, um, I'm gonna go right here and get this ink. Ink a dink a bottle of ink. I'm just gonna ink around there so that white that is showing where I didn't get it really lined up will kind of be inked like that just like that just exactly like that and um see now put that 
back in the drawer. Now I can take this. Now see this. What I lose the name. Oh. See, there is going to be a pocket up here where I'm going to be able to put stuff. Yeah. Okay. So anyway, then another thing. Then okay. Then I got this here piece of paper. Wonder what happens if I just put, turn that one and fold it right half in two. I could just fold that right half in two like that. Just half in two. Well, I didn't fold that real straight, did I? But, you know, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if it's straight or unstraight. It doesn't matter. It's just a junk journal. So, so then, okay, let's move these out of the way. Elizabeth, I, I swear, I try to tell myself to, um, let's see, more faith than fear. This, this actual, um, grouping of, of circles were to do with this coronavirus thing. So it's like, stay safe, stay home, save lives. Let's stay positive. There's another stay safe, more faith than fear. You know, that kind of thing. That's, that's fun. You know, that's good. So... I'm going to I'm going to just kind of decorate this. I'm going to just put this I folded it into a folder, you see. And I'm going to take those two little blue two of these blue dots, blue dots, and I'll just put the blue dots like this way here. And then I'm going to put this here. <laughs> I look like Mickey Mouse. No, we don't want it to look like Mickey Mouse, so I'm going to um We'll give it well we'll make it look like Mickey Mouse three years. There. And so we'll do that. Now now this could be um let's see. I like this. Um this is pretty too. See. This was a unicorn collection of stuff that was on that same website. I'm going to be using a lot of stuff from this here website, so I really should keep the link to that right below so, um, so that everybody can be aware of where I get this from. Because if you have the money to get if you have the money, you've got a printer. Um, I mean, I wouldn't have had the money if I didn't get the stimulus check. But I got the stimulus check, so I used it for my own whatever it is. For my own whatever. For my own pleasures. Pleasures, that's what it is. So now, see, I could actually put a page in here, and I might do that later. But right now, I'm just going to put it in this pocket. That's going to live in this here pocket, okay? For right now. I might change it. I might change it. I might put it somewhere else. Now, see this. That little punch out. That will cover up almost that whole thing right there. But it's white on white. So... I want to make it, I want to give it a little bit different of a color. So, let's see what I got. Oh, this is purplish. Purplish, just a minute. That's purplish. Kind of purplish. So, I'm going to, I'm going to go ahead and um, make it a little bit different of color. And what I'll do is I'm going to put it on this piece of paper. So, then... The extra ink will come off on that piece of paper and from the junk mail. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Okay, so there. So now that's purple. It's out of that junk mail. Yeah. So anyhow, well, let me just put this over here. I don't know what I'm doing over there. Now, let me just put this. Oh, let me glue the back of that. 
junk mail. Use your junk mail. Now, um, that covers that up just about perfect. Just about perfectly. But you know what I'll probably do is use one of these. Put that little unicorn. Unicorns are the best type of corn. What's your favorite corn? Unicorn. That's it. We'll put that right there on that page. And then, see, that's good. I kind of like this right here. The um, no, no postage necessary for mail in the United States. Now, if I was to mail it to East Dua Diddy, I would need to... Um, if I was to mail it to East Dua Diddy, I would have to put postage on it. So, I, I'm not going to mail it anywhere. So, it needs nothing. So, now, see... When you do that tear tactic, you know, that tear thing. I'll just leave this purple ink out here. And then, see, there we go. We just made that purple. And so now I can put this on here. Right here. Is it 7 o'clock already? Okay, let me turn that off. Where's my phone? Uh, dismiss. Okay, goodbye. I'll take my medicine later. Oops, I'm dropping things in the floor. But hey, what's new? What's new? What is this? Oh, it's a piece of um, pattern fabric. Pattern paper. Pattern off of a pattern. Off of a pattern. I like that. Hmm. Okay, so I'm just going to put this now. This one that I just inked. I'll put this on here like this. Oh, you know I have those little... And here's some little ones, too. Let me see. Little circles. One inches. There's an A and a Y and a V. And it says, today is your day and a number eight. Let's put the number eight up there. Why? I don't know. Just because eight is a good number. I'm going to put that right there. And then on here, I'm going to put today is a good day. That one can go here. Right there. Right there. That's fine right there. No problem with that one. Okay, then. Let's see. Okay, then I had. Oh, I have this little piece of edging as well. So I'm going to put this. Right there on that. Edge of that. Envy. Right there on that envy. And I'm going to just cut it with my lost scissors. Oh, here they are. And um, I'm just going to put that on there like this way. Now, I'm just going to put that there. That's fine right there. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Okay, now, now let's see, now see, yo, I just thought of something I should have done with this, but I didn't, see, that's pretty, and, okay, so if I were to take and put some glue here, and then just take the plain white piece, and put it off center, see, kind of makes like a shadow. And then I'm going to put this right here. This takes me some time. I look at my timekeeper up there, and goodness me sakes. Um, I hope you're getting the idea anyway. Um, I have had some people say to me, I do not have a clue as to how to even start a junk journal. Well, understand that you're just using junk. You're just using junk. That's all you're using is junk. And, um, now, now some of this we wouldn't call junk. Like, a, a, a unicorn can never be junk. But, but you can, you can have... Okay, and then once you get so far on a page and you say, oh, well, I don't know what I'm going to do, then you can stop, go to another page and start something else. 
but um and you make your little tags make whatever you know this is I see this is going to be a side pocket here um, let me just go through here now this is that page that I um, just left it folded in thirds like this and while I just pull that down like this I'm just going to pull it down and I'm going to glue that I just folded it into that triangle I'm just glue that and um, and and then, you know what? That's just got all that rotten on it. So if you just fetch you a marker or a pan or something, and let's go with this. And then you can um, make marks on it. I love stitch marks. I do stitch marks on a lot of things. And just make stitch marks around. I'm just making some stitch marks around. There we go. And then I'm going to put some stitch marks down here on this part as well. This was a lightweight paper, so by leaving it folded in the thirds, it makes it a little bit um, of a heavier page, which is nice. See, I like that. Now, if you have a stamp, like a stamp, you can stamp something on there or um, a sticker. Stickers like, I got these stickers sitting right here. Look, I can just take the H. So if you got some stickers and you just don't know what to do with them, I'm just going to write H. That's not going to show up there. I'm going to put this on over here. I just changed my mind. That's going to go here because that isn't going to show up over on that other one too well. Unless I was to border it with black marker or something, but you can do that too. It just says hi. Hi is simple enough. Nothing wrong with that word. And then see, then, then you can use that as a pocket. See, then that's a pocket there. You can put anything in that pocket. And um, anything you want to, anything you want to. And um, let's see. Oh, see there, I still have that piece right there. And so then I could make this into a tag. There, see, and then that tag fits right in that pocket. I can decorate that tag. I can punch a hole and put strings in that tag. I can do any of that stuff, anything I want, because it's my junk journal. Now, this was a, just a that was a page that was in that um, that was a page that was in that junk mail. And okay, see how it's folded there, so that can be a pocket right there. This, I believe I'm going to glue that. I'm going to glue that part of it shut. So I'm not going to have that as a pocket, but it'll be a flip out. There. Spectrum people sent me that paper. Yep. Okay. So then I got a pocket there. So now I'm going to take this and I'm going to find that tear ruler that just grew legs and walked away. Oh, it walked all, it didn't walk far. Okay, so I want to make that I don't have to um, I don't have to tear all four sides. I'm just going to tear it till it's the right width. And there's the right width. And to get to the right length I want it to be right here. Oh, you know what I think I'll do? I'm going to turn this up. Since it's pink on the back, and I'm going to go like this, and I'm going to tear just that front part off. There. Now, I'm going to put this in here, then that will make another pocket. So it'll cover 
it'll cover that and then and you can anything you cover this with anything you don't have to have this fancy paper here this fancy paper just happened to be sitting here and um and so and then I'm gonna just glue these two edges here so then this can be a pocket see there and so then I have a pocket back here I have a pocket there I have a pocket up here and um, that, oh, then a pocket up here like this way and then then I have this pocket here let's stay positive that can go in there and then see when well, then we still have this flip out right here and so then let's just cover that with a piece of book page um, I'm gonna cover that with this this is like vintage old antique whatever paper because it's out of a Scrabble dictionary not a dictionary just a list of words that you can use in Scrabble not cheat sheet you know and so I'll put that on there you see and then see it's fun when you tear because and you don't have to have a tear ruler you can use any kind of a straight edge to tear with and so see there now that will fit right on that page so now if you have greeting cards um, magazines with images in the magazines anything you can use to cover that up okay now we're going to cover this whole page up I'm going to do that the same way I'm going to and see and then that will be a background for something that I eventually will put right on that page where's that fold there's the fold there we go and then I want that to cover that whole piece so all I need to do is tear that little bit off right there okay now put that right on there and that's going to cover that whole flip out up and um okay so now so that that got that flipped out this here says, says stuff on there I could maybe even then just put tear that piece and got stuff sticks to me I'm just a self stick I must be like made out of velcro Everything sticks to me okay I'm gonna put that right there see that kind of gives that a little of, of something and um that's nice now this this here is pretty plain right here so I'm not sure that I have to do any background on that this one no now here we're up to the middle and I've got this page so and and that one who knows maybe I should put words there too can I put them sideways heck yeah you can it's your book Elizabeth you can do anything you want and so um they could go on their sideways if they want hey now and they do want hey so we're gonna go like this and we're gonna just there we're gonna do that that's what we're gonna do we're gonna just glue this these words now so when you get if you order one of my junk journal kits from me just know that just start throwing stuff together just throw it together nothing fancy schmancy just pull something out of the box and glue it in the book that's it you got the book you got the box you got the book just glue stuff in it you don't have to do anything fancy just glue stuff in it there we go see now that the words are sideways that's okay that's so who's going to read them words anyway? Probably nobody. Let's see. I think I'm going to go over that with just a little bit of this distress grape juice. Oh, dusty concord. That's grape. Yeah. 
so I'm just going to go over that a little bit there. See, so then that covers up that page. And we don't know what we're going to do with it. We don't know. Let's see. Let's put that family is an important thing. Family, oh, good God, my eyes, is not an important thing. It is everything. That is so true. And so family is not an important thing. It is everything. So, and just try not to think so much when you're doing this. Because if you think too much and you measure and all that stuff, everything is going to go kaplink, you know, throws a monkey wrench into everything. But see now, there I got pretty much done. I won't take up any more of your time because good night noise. Um, good night noise. It's, um... My clock is going to play, and then nobody wants to watch a real long video. And so, let me see. Look at this. It's so old and brittle. This book page. Love it. Love it. Well, I'm old and brittle. You know, I'm, I'm old and brittle. So, um, it just goes right along with me. Let's see here. Old and brittle. There we go. See there? I'm just going to glue that in there. This is an old book here. This was an old book. And I started reading it and I said, nah, I don't want to read that. It doesn't have anything about crafting in it. Now, let's see. What is this? Let's see. Oh, i got to cover up that address. So I'll just put this piece that I popped out. And see, and you never know what you're going to have in your junk mail. You never know. You just never know what you're going to have in your junk mail, what color it's going to be, how, um, you know, sometimes you get things with like big words. Oh, see, now here, I just um, did that inking on the back of this page. And so then I will take my puncher. I love this thing. Thank you, Cindy. I love this. Look at how quickly it cuts. It's just like smooth as butter. There, see, now that'll be purple on both sides because I'll glue it together in the meal. In the so, see, you might think that there's nothing on that paper that'll work for you, but you know what? There is. So, I'm going to take this. Kind of fold it a little bit. I'm going to stick it under there. And then this will still fold up like a little flip. Why? I don't know. Don't know why. So it's like a little bitty flip. Because I'll probably put something on there later. I don't know what I'll put on there. I could even put this on here and flip it over. But I'm not going to do that right now. That's not going to happen right now. There we go. Now, oh, maybe I'll just put this A on here for adorable. A, you're adorable. B, you are beautiful. Okay, so we'll put that A on there. There we go. Oh, I'm telling you. Did I tell you this story? Um, oh, didn't I just say I was going to stop? I, but then I find, then I think of a story, you know. You know, I could just put this right over here. Oh, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go like this. Um, my mind goes back and forth. Let me see. I don't know if you've noticed that before in your lifetime of watching me. Some of you have watched me more than once. See, I'm putting these stitches around this part of this um, label thing. Oh, that's pretty. Now, and then I'm going to take that um, little by little, one travels far. I'm going to put that on there. I get things closer and closer to me here, and then I get out of frame. Um, hi, Papa. What you doing? Oh, I'm making a video here. I was showing people how I waste time. Oh. That's all. Just how I waste time. You know what I need to do? I need to put another circle. How about 
Oh, here's that 50% off coupon. We don't know what it's 50% off of, but it's 50% off, and it's a sticker. It's a sticker. I think it's a sticker. Um, maybe it's not a sticker, but I think it is a sticker. I think if I just give it a little... Oh, yeah, it is a sticker. I'm going to put that over the spectrum word. There we go. Now, but now I need that other circle that I was looking for. A Y. A Y. And put so on one side it's got an A. On the other side it's got a Y. Like that. Just like this. What you do? Why didn't you throw that off of a five dollar bill? It don't hurt the five dollar bill. It's still it, worth five dollars. He just tore this off the corner of a five dollar bill. Oh gosh, is he weird? Weird. Let me see. I'm put that. <laughs> oh, that man, he's nuts. He's nuts. But I'm the one that chose him, so I'm stuck with him. There, look at there. That is corner of a, <laughs> off of a real five dollar bill. Isn't that cool? Yeah, that's what he did. He's just the dork. There we go. Now, so, I don't know. I chose him out of all the fish in the sea. I chose him. So I can't complain. I could have had Tom Selleck or Sam Elliott, any of those. Elvis, oh no, that's right. Oh no, Elvis was still alive. But no, he was already left the building by the time I met Papa. Now, I remember, oh, thank you. I remember right where I was when I heard about Elvis. I, I can remember exactly where I was standing and looked at that TV. And it's like I froze. I couldn't believe it. Ah, excuse me, I had to get a drink. And so, um, yeah, that was sad. Well, I started telling you my story about my stool. I got my stool, not my stool specimen. It's just a real stool. And um, I, I had ordered a stool. because A stool. You know, like when you go to the doctor's office and the doctor gets to sit on that little spinny stool and you have to sit in an uncomfortable chair? Well, I ordered me one of them spinny stools to go right here. I'm sitting on it right now as we speak. And so I ordered it, and I was way I didn't order it from Amazon, so I, it took a while to get here. And um, so I really wasn't even thinking about it. And then I think it was yesterday or the day before, I went to go take a nap. And um, when I got up from my nap, I come in here, right here, and I sit down. And um, the hubster followed me in here. And I asked him if he needed something. He said, no, no, no. I'm just wondering what he's doing. And um, so and then he went back out. And then I got up a couple times and went on out. Because I don't never sit too long in one spot. And so I got on out and come back in, sit down. Went back out, come back in, sit down. And then my arm. I put my arm down to my side. And I said, what the heck? Because my, cause I was sitting in an old metal chair, you know. And then I got up and I looked and I said, oh my goodness, it's my stool. I had done then up and down off of this thing like four or five times. I couldn't believe it. I, I just couldn't believe that I did not notice it when I first walked in the room. I didn't. I did not notice it. I'm telling you, I've seen something serious wrong with me. Serious. There are some serious problems with this woman here this old woman but I like my stool because it spins around because see I have a desk behind me too but I don't have a lot of space in between the two and so my chair my metal chair that I used that um just, that just wasn't cutting it that just wasn't cutting it and um and and we need stuff to cut it you know and um, it just wasn't cutting it. And because when I would turn, I would knock things down. You know, things would fall on the floor. And 
then I don't pick things up right quickly off the floor. So things would sit on the floor for a few days or a week or something, you know. And um, and so, yeah, that's kind of saddened me a bit. And so I said, this is what I'm going to get. I'm going to get me a stool. And I love my stool because I never sit back in the chair. I don't need a back on it because I don't sit back on it. And I just keep finding things on my desk. When you find stuff in your desk and you don't really know what the heck it's for or whatever, just drop it in. Just poke it in there somewhere. So, see, this is kind of long. It's made for like a bookmark. And um, you know what? I could actually... I don't have to use it that length. I can actually tear this to this length. Oh, I need to print some of these out and put them in. Oh, put them in the boxes that I'm filling now because I got four orders that I'm filling right now. Filling boxes for I get the orders and then I fill the boxes. So when you make an order, it takes me a, a minute and a half to get it out to you. But um, oh, see, I can do that that way. I can just do it that way. Put that on there like this and put this on there like this. Imagination is the real and eternal world of which this vegetable universe is but a faint shadow. William Blake wrote that. Now see, there's some little doggies there, so maybe I put a D. A D, I got them letters, so I'll put D for dog. Or for whatever you want the D to be. Darling. But, you know, so anyhow, I'm not going to keep you. And then when you do um, letters, it doesn't matter what letter. Letters are nice. Numbers are nice. They're all, just use them. They don't have to stand for anything. Don't have to stand for nothing. Just put it there. Just stick it up there. And like this here, th that doesn't need to be anything. It's just a pretty color, see? It's got some rat on there and... And I'm going to put on their sad words like this. See? And that can go there for now. Because I will most likely... Oh, what's this? Oh, that's a tag. Oh, that's a tag with a rose on it. Let's put that in here right there. And see, that can be there. I can't believe you tore that corner off of that, that $5 bill. Just so I can put up my junk drill. And, um... Yeah... He bought some lottery tickets. Oh, what did I do with them lottery tickets? Um, he bought five lottery tickets, a dollar a piece. Like, we can afford to throw money away. But one of them was a $10 winner. So we are ahead of the game for today. That's not adding all of them together for their whole lifetime. Yeah, we have definitely donated in our lifetime. Okay, well, I don't know what I did with my losing lottery tickets. They're up here somewhere. In this big fat mess of mine. Big fat mess of mine. But anyway. Oh, here's a pretty something. Oh, well, that's a pretty something. Oh, that should go right there. See, you just find pretty somethings. And it doesn't matter what the pretty something is. Just stick it up there. Just park that sucker up there. Just pork it up there. Put that right on there. And let's look at that. Oh, and then I have this telephone. Well, this tele... Oopsie daisies. Will this telephone fit on here? Yeah, it's a little big. Will I... Oh, wait a minute. Is there a bigger envelope? Oh, no. This is the same size right here. You know what? I'm going to put that on there anyway. Wait a minute. What about this one? No, I don't want it on there. I want it right here. I want it here. It's going to go on here no matter what. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to take the scissors... Let me sit oh there. I'm gonna cut that piece off and I'm gonna cut that off right to there. Okay, now then I can put it there like this way. Yeah, that's what I can do. And that is what I can do. Um and then I can put that typewriter right here, like this. Now, that's wax paper. That won't do nothing. You know, I should have done is tried to punch all those little holes out first, but I didn't try and punch all them holes out because that would be just too particular, and I don't want to be particular 
about nothing, about nothing. Well, I won't finish this today because I know y'all probably want to go get some dinner. And, um, but that's the beginning of it. That's the beginning of, and that's the beginning of this one. So I've got two beginnings. Look at how cute these are. Aren't they cute? I like them. I love them. And see, and you can put anything, just glue stuff. Okay, that, that's what I'm telling you. That's what I'm here to tell you today. I'm here to tell you about that. And um, let's see. Now I'm going to put this lid on this glue. And I'm going to reach up here and I'm going to get a little bit of um, power thoughts. Okay, do you ever listen to your own body's messages? That's what it says right here. It says, I listen with love to my body's messages and your body does send you messages let me tell you that your body does send you messages it says my body is always working toward optimum health my body wants to be whole and healthy I cooperate and become healthy whole and complete and you know what you how you do that it's in your mind you you know you might have every kind of an ailment I got so many ailments that the doctors got on my list, you know, of my diagnosis as you know, there's, there's a whole list, but you know, I don't wish to, I don't wish to think about that. I just want to wish, I just want to think about all the good stuff. I mean, I can still walk and talk and as you know, I can still talk and, um, and, and I can still craft and I can still eat and. I'm retired. I can sit on a front porch and watch the squirrels in the morning. I, you know, there is so many good things in my life. I, and yesterday I had a bad day because I was, as in a, as down in the dumps. You ever get down in the dumps? I allowed myself to get down in the dumps. And when I woke up this morning, I said, I ain't having another day like I had yesterday. And just after I told me that, I told me that, I told that to me, um, I felt better already, and I'm having such a good day today, and um, now i got to get back to work. i got stuff to do, people to see, places to go, which I don't really have people to see, places to go, but I do have stuff to see, to do. Uh, good grief, Elizabeth. Now, see, I wrote, I'm running out of space on my desk here, so I'm going to have to clean off my desk really soon. But I ask God to watch over you every step you take, every move you make, and I will see you on the very next video. God bless.